greatest series in the world! This is Minecraft Squid Island! And in case you're watching this on the day that it went live, this is my third episode on Squid Island this week, and I'd love for three videos a week to become the new norm! So please, smash that like button if you want to see more Squid Island. It's a lot of work, we spend hours and hours and hours in each video, but I love this show, and if you show your support, I will keep doing it. Now in case you haven't been watching for a while, this is an island where I live together with my friends. We take things quite serious over here. We've got a constitution, we've got laws, and we've got a president trying to keep order. The president is elected by all of you watching, which is kind of crazy. There's like 100,000 voters each election. Slogo is currently our president, and he's doing a fair-ish job. Things are maybe a little boring. <laughs> Can I say that? New elections are coming up soon. And if you guys remember, I actually made a whole oath to what I would do as a president. As a candidate for presidency of Squid Island. Uh, yeah, you can you can read it yourself. All right. Just pause the video if you want to read it. Basically, I think I'm going to be a good president. Now, I just logged on to the server, and I can see that I got a GIF in Celeb... Wait a minute. Excuse me, guards! <laughs> yeah, this is my company, Jelly Inc. We specialize in security services. I installed an entire alarm system on Slogo's plot, which is very effective. I've also got guards walking around, which are basically iron golems. I don't know what they're doing on the top of my pyramid, though. There's not much guarding going on there. A gift in celebration of... Borco new factory? Leather pants died. Uh, and steak. Oh, I'll take the steak. Don't worry, pants are not considered armor. Please wear all the time. That's right, we have a law stating that we cannot wear armor or weapons. So, it does have plus two armor, but it, it doesn't matter? Mr. President, you're very confusing. Wait a minute. Is that Josh's new factory? And did I just see another chest with a sign. All right, let's have a look at this new factory first. What is this, bro? Well, I have an entire beach club here that had a fantastic view, and now the view appears to be ruined, bro. We've got a giant Bork flag and an ugly iron building. I don't want this in front of me, and apparently what? There's some cow slaughter going on in front of us? No, 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 no. You can't just claim an island for yourself, Slogo. That is very weird. I am 100% sure that if I would have claimed just a random island, it would be auctioned off by the president. That is literally what happened last time. He's turning into quite the dictator, even though I uh, say that. Yes, I can say that. What's this then? Order from Craner. Oh, we've got, oh, it was 10 diamonds, I believe. I already had four. We've got 10 diamonds and two books from Craner. All right, so one says Craner, one says Order. Let's read Order first. Hello, Jellying! Oh, <laughs> that's my company. I would like to order exactly one very secure, very good looking, and has to fit my theme, by the way, building for Humpy to live in. What? We got an order, guys! He currently residus? Re residus. Is that a word? In my temporary build made for him, but I would love it if Jelly Ink could be something better and more secure. You hereby have my permission to build a humpy building on my land. However, please make sure it is not too big slash obnoxious. Okay, just make it secure and make it fit humpy. Thanks, Craner. By the way, I paid what I thought might be appropriate. Bro, he paid 10 diamonds. That is very appropriate. All right, what's the second book? Also, by the way, please only build where I have put a sign down. Okay, thanks. Love you. Bye. Uh, Craner, that is so kind of you. I have an official order in. Jelly Ink is officially open. We've got our new showroom, which looks fantastic. Now, I'm not sure if Craner read my services book, but where on my, um, book does it say I build pet buildings. I suppose he should have had a little bit of a consultation first, which says, let us assess your requirements and give you a detailed overview. However, I can just do that already. I can, I can just do that right now. He's given me the permission to build whatever. So let me just go and assess his requirements and his needs. He paid me 10 diamonds, which is kind of crazy. Also, I love these new gates. Whee! I'm not sure the boys have seen them yet. We're recording so many videos on Squid Island right now. It's just the greatest show ever. Where did I put the button? There it is. Haha, <laughs> so secure. All right, so over here we have Craner's land. He's got a factory called Humpy Co, which uh, create, creates boats. Very interesting factory, considering it's a desert where nothing grows. But anyway, he does have trees and water. It's a very interesting desert. <laughs> oh, look at this. Temporary Humpy enclosure. Where's Humpy? Oh my goodness. Hey, Humpy, what are you doing, bro? <laughs> Humpy! Whoa! 
Ah! Uh, yeah, Craner's got a camel as a pet. I don't know why he's standing on the fencing. That's a bit odd. There we go. That's better. Hello, Humpy Dumpy! Oh, he is humongous, bro. Or am I just short? So where am I supposed to build then? I thought Craner said I had like a designated... Wait, what's happening? What? Turtles and... Boats? Why are they in boats? <laughs> Two turtles in boats. Okay, anyway. Where was I supposed to build? Oh, there's a sign here. Build here, Jelly. All right, I guess this is going to be the location of our build. I guess let's start prepping this land. So, yeah, Crater has a desert theme. He specifically asked me to build something that... Is this chest for me? I don't think that's for me. Anyway, he asked me to build something that fits in with this land, right? Let's see what he said specifically. Not too big slash obnoxious. Has to fit my theme. Which is, uh, desert. Okay, I need to get sand. Uh, there is a lot of sand on the opposite side of the water, so I'm just gonna grab this boat and shovel it all away. <laughs> Have you guys seen uh, Calamari statue? It looks so good, by the way. Oh, also, I upgraded Beanie. I'll show you that later. Sand! Yeah! Yeah, we're gonna need a lot of that. Whoa! What is that? Book and quill? It's a backup of the constitution? Does the president have secret chests in places? That is rather odd. Is he changing the constitution without us knowing? The constitution needs to be signed. Okay, anyway, that's a conspiracy theory for later, I guess. Yep, yeah. All right, we need a couple of things to prepare. Beep, beep, pop. We're gonna make a ton of sandstone. Like, literally a ton of it. There we go. That's quite a lot. We're gonna smelt that into smooth sandstone. I have an idea. All right. Now, Humpy is a camel. We've got a statue of my old bee, which is now dead. Which, by the way, uh, I made Beanie happy again because my company is a very successful company. And it needs to look happy. Look at that. <laughs> anyway, we've got a bee statue. We've got a dog statue. What are we missing? A camel statue. <laughs> now, what way could I help out Craner better, all right? We are going to build him a camel statue that is secure, difficult to get into, and safe for his pet Humpy. We'll make an entrance, an exit. It will be a little big and perhaps obnoxious. And I know he didn't want that. However, I am pretty sure because it's a statue, he'll forgive me for that. Like, I'm sorry, it's gonna be a little bit big. Like it has to be, you know, it's a statue. And I'm genuinely trying to be nice here. This is not a troll. I want, I want to build something really cool for Craner because he needs it. He kind of deserves it, too, you know? He's been nicer lately, even though I still want my land back. This is my land. All right, we are just doing some prep work here. I think we need to fill up some of this as well. Uh, the lake is going to be a tiny bit smaller. We just need some space for the, uh, what's it called? <clears throat> Statue, you know what I mean? Ooh, this is a big plot now. All right, let's start! We've already got a good amount of sandstone, which is smoothened out. Look how good that looks, by the way. If I pick it up, it works. Yep, all right, perfect. We're going to start with the camel's neck. Um, I don't know how wide I want it to be. I think five wide is probably our maximum. All right, regarding the height of the neck, I'm not entirely sure, but, uh, by the way, it's gonna be a camel sitting down. I think that makes the most sense. Is that a good height? I think that's a pretty good height. All right, all right. That looks pretty cool. That looks pretty cool as a neck. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, this uh, statue is turning out a little bit bigger than I guessed. I've also uh, changed my ingredient already to regular sand. We'll use the sandstone, like the smoothened out sandstone for places where I can't have it falling down, of course. But let's have a look at the front real quick. I worked on some ears. Uh, obviously, we're going to detail it after with like wool and other resources. We're just working on the shape first. But I actually think it looks really cool. <laughs> yeah, it looks great. Now, um, about the length of it. I don't know exactly how long it should be. I think I'm gonna turn around, like, right about here. There's gonna have to be a hump as well, of course. We can't forget. And then, obviously, the question is, how am I gonna secure this thing? I have a couple of ideas, uh, which are, some of them are maybe a bit that drastic, but at the same time, this is also gonna be his home, right? So we gotta make it look nice inside while being secure. And sand isn't exactly the most secure, so... I don't know how to do this, really. But hey, we are a good company, and we're gonna figure things out together. Look at this. This is efficiency. Efficiency, bro. The fact that it falls just makes it easier. Ah! <laughs> Stuff's looking pretty good, but uh, we're gonna have to remove this whole railway thing. I'm gonna... Ah! 
I'm gonna move it. I don't know to exactly where. I kind of don't like it that it goes, like, behind it, you know? But I, I guess that's the only choice we have. Mr. President wanted a monorail that we don't use. I guess that's the way it is. Also, why am I not using the netherite pickaxe? It's literally just there, chilling. It would be much quicker, too. Uh, yeah, let's go get it. Oh, Peeny looks so good. All right, here we go. Don't worry. I'm gonna put it back. All right, I'm gonna put it back. I'm just using it for now. It's allowed. It's allowed. All right, now for the hump. We're gonna make kind of a small one-ish in the middle. It's gonna stick out two blocks on that side and then two blocks on that side as well. Would that be good? Is that a good size? I really like that. That is perfect. Wow. Okay, this is looking really, really good. All right, now we need to start work on detailing. Let's have a quick look at the front. Wow. Oh my God. I like it. But of course, it's still too sand colored. We're gonna change that now. We're gonna get some resources. Um, We can use wood. We can use wool. We can use all kinds of materials to make this look like a true camel. Let me just take a quick look at this guy as well. All right, I think we can use wood for the belt uh we need something for the eyes wait oh wow should i get a tail as well <laughs> oh the seat all right no i think i got this i think i got this all right let's start with something fun we're gonna create like a little necklace belt thing uh what do you what do you call it all right it's what pets have just just you know what i mean Bleep, blop, blop. there we go that looks pretty good for the paws i think we should use black wool like that and then we have some brown wool maybe around the edges. How's that? Does that look like a paw? I don't know. It's too much symmetry going on. It's not bad like that, is it? All right. Blip, blip. All right, that's pretty good. Now let's work on the belts. Hmm. So how is this then? <laughs> I actually really, really like it. It definitely looks like Humpy, the camel. We've got front paws, back paws. We've got a little yellow thing there. Now the question is, where's the entrance gonna be? It makes the most sense, I suppose, if it's over here. But will Humpy even fit? And I kind of don't want to ruin the uh, aesthetics, you know? We're gonna have to put you next to it. Let's have a look. Wow, Humpy! Yeah! Let's go, dude! Obviously, Humpy is a little bit more yellow than sand, but I think it's pretty cool. Can you sit? Like, can, can you, like, sit next to your statue, bro? Sit! Humpy, do you listen at all? Oh, my God. Please sit. Why did Craner get a camel as a pet? Oh, 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 oh! Yeah! Not too bad, bro. Not too bad. <laughs> I really like it. All right, time to work on our safety element. I think... It's a great idea to fill all the legs, yes, legs, with lava. Ha ha ha. That way, I don't think anyone can easily break into our little camel uh, statue here. Oh, we literally have an endless supply of lava in the uh, nether, so why not? There you go. That's one leg done. Another leg. All right. Good, good, good. We're going to replace that later. Let's have a look. We got to make sure it's not leaking out or anything. Uh, obviously, we have wool over here. Wool isn't really the issue because we can just block that out. We're just using iron. I do need to get myself some more lava, though. But, okay, we're going to fill the legs up. Just doing some prep work. I think we'll fill the head with lava as well. But up until, like, a certain level, you know? We don't want to fill the entire head. For the entrance, I actually thought it would be funny. Oh, no, everything's going to break. Uh, to create a back entrance. <laughs> through the butt. I mean, why not? This area is going to be a little storage room, which could technically be food, right? There we go. That's kind of cool. I'm going to put some obsidian, not everywhere. I don't know what he means with secure. I mean, Jelly Ink is a security company, but if the camel is the issue, then building him a cage would be sufficient. You know what I mean? If he doesn't want anybody breaking in, then he needs to buy an alarm service, which is a separate service that I offer. I'm really liking the look of this, though. This is looking amazing. Let's create him a little bed over here. This is his bed. Perfect. Uh, do camels sleep on dirt or do they sleep on uh, sand? I don't know. I think they eat grass, though, and wheat. This is looking great, though. This is looking great. I think Craner's gonna like it. All right, let's get some hay bales. Beep, pop, beep, boop, pop. That looks good. Humpy's bed. All right, we're gonna have to fence that off. I don't think um, a camel can walk through a one block radius. So that is storage. Food. Here we've got some fresh water. Uh, salt water. But hopefully he can handle it to fill that up. You know what I'm saying? And then here we've got the entrance with the tail. Oh my god, that looks incredible. Let's have a look now. I'm really happy with how this turned out. Let's get Humpy. Let's get Humpy. We gotta put him in there. Hump! Where you at, boy? Oh my god, is he is he just chilling here? Hey, boy. Yeah, all right. I made you a new home. Oh, we got to close the front still. All right, so here's a, a little oak path that you can walk along with Hump. 
He's tall. He's taller than I thought. Oh god. Am I gonna hit my head? He's he's one block taller. Are you kidding me? Well, easy fix. Yeah! Hump is in his new home! Welcome, Hump! <laughs> Oh my god. That's it! Crater's got himself a camel statue on his land. I hope he likes it. Oh, wait. I have uh, one more small fix to do. Beep. Beep. Oh, and I obviously need to leave him a book. Dear Craner, thank you for your trust in Jelly Ink. We have successfully secured Humpy and placed him in his new home, the Camel Statue. He will not cause any more trouble now. There's simply no way for him to escape. I've, I've done exactly what I needed to do, right? I hope this delivery has succeeded your expectations. Please leave a five-star review and like the video. And tips are much appreciated. Kind regards, Jelly. Founder and owner of Jelly Ink. No return policy on custom orders. Perfect!